Hello and welcome. Today I would like to talk to you about a new program that I've written called AI Tools. Here's the uh, the URL for it, github.com slash MikeyBees slash AI Tools. And uh, this is the readme for it. And it's, it's a very easy installation. Uh, you clone this repository, cd into the directory here, create a conda environment for it, install the requirements file, and then uh, run uh, python main.py. So very, very simple to get this up and running. And when you do, then it looks like this. Uh, Let's see, where does it start here? Let's see. All right, here's where it starts here, python main.py. And you get a little splash here. And it tells you you could type slash help to get help. And so I said, who was Alan Turing? And then it comes back to, the, it has a little, uh, auto, a little uh, spinner here. It says Otto is thinking, and uh, here we go. Alan Turing was a British mathematician, blah, blah, blah. And who was Victoria's PM? And it comes back and says, it wasn't sure. He th thinks I'm talking about Queen Victoria. And says, he here are the, uh, the prime ministers for that. So now I put slash H so that I can get help. And these are the available commands for it. You can exit or quit. You can get help. You can clear the conversation history. And I'll show you what that means in a minute. You can look at the conversation history. You can do a DuckDuckGo search. You can truncate the history. And you can change the current Olama model. This runs entirely on Olama. It's all local. You can also do a question mark MS, which allows you to search the memory. And I'll tell you a little bit about that later. So here we go, slash HI. That's going to show the conversation history. And it says there are two entries in conversation history. There can be up to 15 entries. So the first thing I asked was who was Alan Turing? And it gave the answer for that. And then who was Victoria's PM? And it gave the answer for that. So these two items are now in chat history. And whenever I ask a new prompt, it has that, uh, the, it has those two entries as a context. So now I say slash TR to truncate it down to one. So if the first one, this one here, this, this has nothing to do with Queen Victoria. So I could do this slash TR1, and it'll go from 2 to 1, and it deletes the oldest one. Uh, now if I do it again, it just has the who was Victoria's prime minister. All right, so slash H will bring this uh, help menu up again. And over here, we do a slash S for Robert Peel, he's the prime minister. And this is going to go out and do a duck, duck, go search. And this is the result of it. And we see over here that he is regarded as the father of modern British policing, owing to his founding dot, dot, dot. So this duck, duck, go now gives you a summary. And so it deleted a bunch of stuff from what it showed here to keep it a manageable size. So I wanted to learn more about policing. So I did another search for Robert Peel, but this time I added the keyword policing. And it comes back here. And I found out that uh, in Britain today, policemen are commonly referred to as Bobbies. Originally, though, they were also known as Peelers. So Bobby is short for Robert. Uh, it's a nickname for Robert. So Robert Peel, because he founded uh, something to do with modern policing, 
in Britain uh, caused police to be named, known by these names. So you can, it, this didn't show up up here, but it showed up down here. Now, if I do slash HI again, you'll see I have three entries in there. I have the who was Victoria's PM, has the first search result, and it has the second search result as context. So if I ask another question, and if the answer is in here, or if it needs to use information from in here to get the answer, it will do that. All right, so here's a slash CM, which is change the current Olama model. It comes up and says, right, these are all the Olama models that you have on your system. Uh, which one do you want? Well, I just wanted to use number two here. So I type in two, and the model changed to Llama 3.1 latest. All right, so here's history again. And now I did a uh, enable memory search for this query. So I've got lots of memory stored. I've got, I don't know, 100 different prompts and responses. Each one of those is stored in a JSON file. And when I do this question mark MS, I say, find the top five or the top three. And the similarity has to be at least 80%. All right, so here's a question mark MS, five, top five that are at least 80%. What is the capital of France? So you could just put your prompt there. So here I did that, 2.5 bobbies. And it comes back and says, it seems that our conversation has come full circle. You initially asked who was Victoria's PM and later searched for information on Robert Peel, who is known as the father of modern British policing. The nickname Bobbies is indeed a reference to Sir Robert Peel. To summarize, Sir Robert Peel, 1788 to 1850, was a British conservative statements, blah, blah, blah. All right, so that's pretty much this program. Let me just exit from here. And let me go into data here. And then, oops, once I'm in here, let me go into JSON history. And you see, I have all these JSON files. If I cat this, cat star, you'll see that each one of these is a uh, each one of these is a prompt. Here's the prompt. Here's the response. It also has the date and timestamp, has the model used, and it has the username. So there are a whole bunch of these in here, and uh, there we go. So we also have a directory in here called embeddings, and we have a bunch of files in here that the names are very similar. And if I cat these, you'll see that these are actually embeddings. So these are all vectorized representations of those files. And this is how we find the uh, ones that are the most similar. We used uh, cosine uh, similarity, uh, and we look at these embeddings. And because the names of these files include the names of the text version, we're able to grab the text version and use it as context. So this is uh, AI tools. It's uh, it's a modular system, and if we go into modules and utilities, we'll see that we've got uh, a bunch of files that are used in here, a bunch of programs. We have one that uh, prints the banner, that's the thing we saw initially, and then uh, we have one that initializes everything. We have one that's used for inputting the prompt. We have one for memory search. We have one for printing out responses. We actually have two for that. These are both used. We have one for saving the history. We have one for searching. And we have our slash commands. And the slash commands you saw when we did, uh, let's see, 
Python main.py. When we did slash h, these are all our slash commands. So this took me, I think, uh, three days to write, and it's pretty basic, uh, but the functionality is good. It uh, everything works properly and looks nice, and it's something that should be very easy to uh, add to. The code is written in as, in, as simply as possible. And there's a very good uh, readme file here. Talks about what this can do, where things are, what the features are, how to install it. And then, uh, and the license is, a, is an MIT license, which means you can do whatever you want with this code. You can build products and, and sell them if you want using this. Uh, you can add to it, however you want to use it. And uh, here in the documents file, right now I only have one document, which is the architectural guide. And this talks about uh, how this thing is built and why it's good and why you should be interested in it. Uh, anyway, uh, take a look at this. And uh, I think you're going to like it. Get involved if you want. You can add some code to it. Uh, by the way, this was written almost entirely uh, by Claude. Uh, Claude is a uh, is a large language model, and uh, I use this to write most of the code. I did some some of the programming myself, and of course, I architected it, I designed it, I told Claude what I wanted, how it should look, how it should operate, etc. Uh, so even if you're not a good programmer, you should be able to add to this project using Claude. Uh, anyway, I thank you for joining me. I hope you learned something. Please like and subscribe. That really makes a big difference. Uh, I get a lot of enjoyment uh, when I know that other people like what I've done uh, and that they're using it. So anyway, thank you for joining me and bye-bye.